change it now. Change it right now. Immediately change it. I want it changed now. Can somebody explain to me? <laughs> Hold on now. Hold on a second, please. <laughs> How? Hold on. Hold on. Just a second. Let me just think about things. When certain fighters beat someone on the fucking pound for pound list, they go above them in the pound for pound list. Okay? That's why I just want to get it clear. Pound for pound, I'm looking at Ilya Tapuria being above Alexander Volkanovsky. Now, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm making stuff up with my eyes. Uh, I'm seeing Ilya Tapuria above Alexander Volkanovsky. That's what I'm seeing right now. But Gaethje ain't above... Sorry. Holloway is not above Gaethje at lightweight. So, so, so hang on, chat. Gaethje is not on the pound for pound list. He's not on it. Holloway is at number nine, eight on the pound for pound list. He beat Gaethje's ass, and he's not anywhere near. I'm not saying not above Gaethje. Nowhere fucking near Justin Gaethje. Gaethje, hold on, moved down one spot in the rankings. One. I don't fucking understand how in any way that has made sense. Holloway is below Fiziev, Chandler, Dariush, and Gamrot. So I need this to be clear yet again. Because this is going to be my final piece de resistance of this argument. Max Holloway beat Justin Gaethje to move to number eight, pound for pound. But he got put at number nine at lightweight. So, so hang on. Max Holloway is ranked higher pound for fucking pound amongst active champions on that pound for pound list than he is at fucking lightweight. How does that make any sense? How is he at number nine in the rankings at lightweight? How is beating the shit out of Gaethje and sleeping him not worthy of putting you against Rafael Fiziev? Who did Fiziev beat? Okay, Moicano, Bobby Green. That's not Gaethje. That's not Justin Gaethje. What the fuck is going? What are we? What is going on? Dariush isn't even above Gamrot, and he lost, and he beat him. Holloway's no win. I don't understand. Whatever. They don't want him at lightweight. That's what I'm getting from that information. That is the dumbest shit I've seen. That is some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Number nine at lightweight is retarded. Absolutely retarded. Max Holloway. Yes, rankings do mean something. They mean fucking everything. Unless you're fucking Makashev, and you get a title shot after beating Bobby Green. Listen. Armand number one, Oliveira number two, Poirier number three, Holloway number four. And guess what, Gaethje, you move down to number five. You lose something for losing. I don't even know if that works, though. Like, it, he's got to be top five. Holloway's got to be top five. He's got to be near Gaethje's name or above it. End of discussion. He's moving from number two at featherweight. Again, this isn't some unranked lightweight that's just got to win over Gaethje. If an unranked lightweight... Dude, chat, yes or no, if Benoit Saint-Denis beat Poirier, he'd be above Poirier in the fucking rankings. 
on that night, if if Benoit Saint Denis at UFC 299 finished Poirier, you'd jump above him in the rankings. He would. So what? Benoit had done fuck all before fighting Poirier, pretty much. Holloway has shown he's at Poirier's level in their rematch, even with unideal circumstances. And he's just slept Gaethje and was beating him before it as well. So I didn't I didn't see Holloway get slept in two fucking rounds against Poirier like Benoit Saint Denis. My bad. Jesus, he's a good thing. Good fucking thing. Holloway's ranked above Benoit Saint Denis by the looks of things. How does that make any sense? I almost want to call a uh, fucking act of violence, but I know I'd get actually fucking arrested in the UK for it. Change it now, UFC. Change it now. What the fuck are you doing? Change it now. <sighs> Thank you for the $5. Absolutely loved Lopez's performance. Happy for money and happy for you that you are getting well-deserved recognition. Thank you. I should have been fucking hustling over the past two days, but I didn't want to fuck up my voice. And I realized if I lose my voice, I could lose it for a week and I'm literally done for a week and I can't do anything. So, yeah. What you reckon have an hour of Gaethje headaches? Or what do you hang up? Read it. Yep, sign of injections on Armin. I'll check it out. You honestly think money might? I've already read all these. What the fuck? Mm -mm. Buh, 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 buh. Since Alex and Izzy's last fight against each other about a year ago, Alex is on a three-fight win streak and holds a belt, and Izzy hasn't won a fight, a fight since. LOL! 10-1, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> just keep adding numbers to Pereira's score for no reason. I feel like that's what social media is doing. <laughs> Israel Adesanya could like trip over on Embedded and people would be like, dude, Alex 13 and 1. Add it to the list. <laughs> that's Pereira fans. Pereira fans are funny, dude. <laughs> Adesanya sneezes at a fucking cue for a drink. Tally it up. <laughs> 14 and 1, boys. That's another one. I had to see Pereira sneeze. I saw Pereira on this same embedded walk past that same thing, and he didn't sneeze. 27 and 1. <laughs> 109 and 1. Yeah. I, I like it, dude. I'm a big fan of anything that uh, uh, affects Adesanya negatively. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How many do you... How much money do you think promotions like Gamebred? I think they just lose money. You know what I think is happening more with these promotions, chat? I think I think the sponsors are more involved in the startups of these companies than we realize. So I think they're okay to lose money because they just see it as them paying for advertising and not getting it all back. But you don't have to get it all back. So I think we're just seeing a lot of sponsor dumps. You know what I mean? Where, like, the sponsor's not going to get full interest back. It might lose 100K, but they'll just be like, ah, we've got a budget for that anyway in our fucking big corporation. So once a company gets so big, they just lose touch with actual, like, making money and instead just sort of try and coast. I think that's what we're seeing with a lot of these organizations. There's no way it can be making money. There's no way it can be making money. PFL, there's no way it makes money. It must be burning money beyond belief it's just rich people don't really give a fuck about profit as much i don't think they do but there's also some of them that might just be fucking wanting to make a stance on the world or a stake in uh, have a stake in the world at what goes on in the world you know so they're like i own this big organization yeah but you're losing two million a year yeah but i make fucking this many hundreds of millions a year you know what i mean so i don't know some of them just are okay to lose money bad looks of things as long as they have a a thing <laughs> 